Hey ho, Fandom DC, and I'm going to be reacting to Gotham Season 5, Episode 2. So let's get to reacting. Guys that broke in took him to some sort of factory where he was held alongside dozens of other stolen kids, all chained together. God. Really? They're savages. Nice Call themselves the soothsayers. So you're saying we do nothing? No, I'm saying the second you step outside that door, someone's going to take a shot at you, and if it's not you that's getting hit, it's going to be the schmo standing next to you, which is most likely going to be me. Ha, <laughs> he understands plot armor. Until Gotham airspace can be declared safe again, we cannot sacrifice any more pilots, whether they're ours or Wayne Damn. Damn. The boy said the soothsayers are here. That means we have to pass through Siren's territory, but it's only three or four miles from then on. Three or four miles into the dark zone? God only knows what's out there. Barbara's been stockpiling vehicles and everything else as payment to enter her club. It's worth a shot. She's gonna be thrilled to see you after what happened with Tabitha. Huh. Okay, this has to be Poison Ivy's territory. Look at all those flowers. They came for help too, and she took their souls. But she'll never kill again. We have her this time. Her. She's locked in the storeroom back there. We stripped it clean before we locked her in. Hello, Ivy. There she go. I need transportation. Trucks, maybe. Where are you going? It's a police matter. <laughs> you know, they should really write that on your tombstone. <laughs> They're downstairs in the basement lot. Knock yourself out. Drive right into this nightmare you created. That was you easy. the night. Damn it, you were saying, Jim? Yeah, even oh, shooting God. arrows. It's a freaking arrow, Jim! It's a freaking arrow! Welcome to the Badlands. Oh, they look tough. Just damn kids, come on. Once this tunnel is complete, we will have exclusive access to the mainland. People will be forced to do business with us. Food, booze, guns, smoke. Is that James Gordon? Damn right. The James Gordon. It's our lucky day, fellas. Kill this one and we're bullet rich. In Penguin's graces, we will be. Why would anyone be a cop in a world like this? Well, the Halloween shop was all out of gas masks, so it was either this or sexy nurse. <laughs> oh, I love Harvey. You know what? My guess is these cops ain't got enough ammo to shoot a duck. Wrong. Penguin gave us both of Penguin wants your boss skinned. Let's take him, boys. Damn. Ever since we were cut off from the rest of the world, it's been behaving differently. Hmm. There are things growing here I have never seen before. What's happening? There's a seed. It's growing under the oaks. It's said to have magical qualities. When digested, it heads for damaged tissue and bone, healing them. If I help you find it, Will you protect me from those men out there? Damn straight, let's go! You better give us more from Ed this episode. Like, come on with these snippets. Yes! 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 It worked! What are you doing here? You brought me here. I brought you here? Last night. Yeah, uh, he did get out. Jim, we're not alone. Someone lit that candle. In the old west, settlers used to leave a candle burning to lead others to safety. Maybe there are still good people left in Gotham. Maybe. All right, fine. We'll take a look around. I'll take the next floor. You do the basement. Oh, check out the basement in a creepy hotel by myself. <laughs> sure. Welcome to our movies, home. man. Right. Who is she? I'm out now. Whoa, whoa. It's okay. It's all right. Kid is 
come out of nowhere? Where are you from? Oh my god. Fingers. Not good. Oh god, this... This is not good. Oh! Fine. I'll tell you. You wanted to know where the street demon's base was. That's it? And you wanted to be sure the boss would be there. Emmanuel Vasquez? Okay, how did I seem? Was I confident, flamboyant, charisma for days? Or a little more conservative, kind of repressed, a little nerdy? You seem stiff, man of few words. In a daze, actually. What? That's not even Ed. I take full responsibility for her. If she's done what you say, she will pay for her crimes. But <laughs> Okay. You are so utterly naive. Exactly. You have to kill them. If I do help you, you'll leave me alone. Follow me. We'll help out Selena. He playing it, Jim. This is that same character we saw when in we the, the city, finale. The gang came. They murdered them. I ran. She makes me call her mother. We gotta go. He's not lying. Come on, Jim. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Jim. Mother, that boy knows. You're a crazy bitch who kills people, takes their stuff, and burns their bodies. I'm protecting him. That's Vasquez. Did you do this? Honestly, I don't remember. Honestly. What about that? Penguin did this. Ma? I think not. Well, whoever did just started one hell of a war. So weird looking seed. Blood? If Selena and Jess, this will find its way to her wound. Its roots will wrap around her spine, fusing the nerves and cartilage together. It'll cure her. Maybe. Just maybe? Everyone's different. Damn. I was willing to kill myself yesterday. Nothing's changed since then. So if Ivy wants to kill me, she can have at it. Damn. Just give her the damn plant. Or the seed, I should say. What do I do? Just swallow it? Yeah. She may look old now, but she'll always be that little girl to me. I get so emotional. Damn it. And it's begun. Whoa. Ah, my bro. Kill Penguin. <laughs> he ain't dying. How about Let's be we real. table this until I can get them safely into the green zone? Bruce. Okay, at least she ain't suicidal anymore. Duh, the eyes. <laughs> oh, that's Gotham for ya. So, not gonna lie, this was a good episode of Gotham. Keep up this momentum, and I will love every single episode. For starters, season four finale we saw like near the end of the episode you know as everyone is getting their territory we saw some new characters we saw man bad and we saw mother and orphan one of my theories okay is mother gonna be you know sophia nope <laughs> 
and even now, I remember like going on my Twitter. I remember seeing that the, um, there was like some type of convention or whatever where they interviewed the actress playing Sophie, and they said that she's not even gonna be in the finale. So I was like, one, I was kind of pissed, <laughs> but that pretty much assured me that okay, it wasn't gonna be Sophie, and just that just pretty much you know proved just in case if she was trolling or anything. Which who knows? She still can be trolling. For we know she can just appear in like one of the episodes. But even then, it's like, do you have time? It's just twelve episodes now, but. We saw, you know, the appearance of Mother and Orphan, you know, because since, you know, Jim, Harvey, you know, those two kids, even I should say a teenager and a kid or kids there, but they went, you know, into her house and she pretty much almost killed them, kind of giving us a back to her, like, oh, I'm pretty much taking care of that kid because apparently just, you know, people going crazy, you know, in no man's land, so... She pretty much adapted, you know, the persona of mother and then the other kid is orphan, you know, just pretty much killing people who just ends up in going inside of that house, which is okay, interesting there. And I'm kind of hoping, okay, since we got mother and orphan, it's going to be a point in this season where Jim and Harvey probably gonna go, or maybe just Jim, or who knows, maybe it can happen with Bruce, where they're going to go into a territory, not even just that, it could be like the Riddler or someone else, but... Go into a territory, and next thing you know, you're going to have the appearance of Man Bat, and they're going to probably, like, defeat him or something. Maybe a character is going to be, like, try to, like, be fed to Man Bat. Maybe someone has captured Man Bat and just, like, using Man Bat to, like, do X, Y, and Z. I can't really see if it happens. If it doesn't happen, then damn, you just hyped up Man Bat. But then again, at the time, the show didn't even know it was going to be renewed yet, because even, like, those are some dark times. Like, week after week, I'm hearing, you know, about, oh, this show's getting renewed, this show's getting renewed, this show's getting canceled, and there was, like, nothing about Gotham. I was just, ugh, I was just nervous. But we here, we got our finale with 10 episodes, plus additional two, so can't complain there. This episode, you know, Jim pretty much follows up about that kid who just appears out of nowhere, where pretty much has a whole bunch of kids, and it seems like teenagers as well being, you know trying to build tunnels for that you know guy with the damn gas mask not just him but pretty much the whole crew pretty much had like some type of gas mask or such at one point i'm like wait a minute is this type of, like uh people like under a scarecrow or something but nope just like regular gas to be hailing and whatnot but they're trying to build those tunnels so they can you know get supplies and they can pretty much be the top dogs in you know the no man's land but apparently that failed but bruce pretty much not bruce <laughs> there was bruce but Jim pretty much needed the, you know, assist of Barbara. At one point, she's like, okay, just take the car and thing, just go. I'm just like, that was a bit too easy. I thought she, like, wanted something in exchange. But apparently, she does, because after she pretty much saves, you know, Jim and everyone else's life, she's like, yeah, you're going to assist me in killing Penguin. Now, because we saw in the first episode that Jim, Penguin, Riddler, and Harvey are okay, and we don't even see Barbara, it's like, okay, is she going to be around, you know, on that what is it, 300-something days or so, or not? We know Penguin could be a fine, but hey, for we know their plot to kill Penguin could be at least, like, right after, you know, that moment in time. Because, again, until we actually get more information, it could be at any moment. They can be plotting to pretty much kill Penguin, but will they be successful? No, they're not going to be successful time and time again. They have proven you want to try to kill Penguin, you are going to to fail not only that though but it's kind of like obvious like, okay it's pretty much the origin story for some you know villains certain villains i don't think will die in my opinion riddler you know penguin you're not gonna see catwoman dying you're not gonna see jim or harvey die maybe harvey i don't know but i still don't see harvey dying but like barbara i see her dying so just like when it came to like uh Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm blanking on her name right now. Oh my gosh, but it probably just dawned on me like the moment I you know stop this reaction and thing. Oh no, I can just put in text about the um, female's name, Tabitha. There we go, got it. But it's just so A said she wants you know revenge and hopefully she's not gonna get it. But who knows? They might do something completely different for you know the finale of Gotham. Other news: we get Bruce going to see the witch. I thought it was gonna be you know Lee. Didn't it turn out to be Lee, turned out to be Poison Ivy, you know, and she pretty much, you know, one, she did talk about ever since, you know, the establish of like no man's land, something been wrong, you know, with the environment. So it's like, okay, that wasn't her, but I don't even know if I should truly really trust what she's saying or not, but it seems like something's been happening as you've been feeling, you know, humans too, the earth and thing, whatever. So, okay with that. 
still iffy, iffy, fifty, fifty about that. But let's say she tell the truth there. She's still, you know, a murderer and thing. But hey, Bruce told her about Ivy. Not I. Bruce told Ivy about Selena, and you know, she pretty much assisted giving the seed and whatnot there. Because again, even though they pretty much fought previous season, they're still tight. They still love each other. They got history. Damn it. And apparently, the moment, you know, when Selena pretty much swallowed that seed, it took a little bit, but hey, it happened, you know, and pretty much he's walking, but that clipping of this episode, her eyes, oh, she is pretty much going to be true on Catwoman now, because before in previous season, I think it was previous season, where I think it was, if it was a season four, maybe season three, yeah, it was season three, where she got pushed, you know, out of the window, she was supposed to be dead. Then a cat came around out of nowhere, and boom, she came back to life. So it's like she was almost there. Even that when she even got the whip, she was almost there. But I'm guessing, you know, the seed was pretty much the final straw for her and actually become Catwoman. So let's see how that develops. Who knows? Maybe she might actually be, you know, an individual opposing force for Bruce. Maybe they end up fighting and whatnot. That would be good. And then, you know, she'll pretty much be friends again and blah, blah, blah. Can't we see how that happens? But also, Riddler. We're getting a little bit more. At one point, Riddler keeps on waking up. He's like, okay, I'm get he guessed it was Ed that was pretty much doing everything. But in reality, it's a new persona, probably created by Hugo Strange, where you pretty much brought him back and whatnot. So can't we just see that new persona that keeps waking up and getting on? Seriously, Riddler. Really thought that if you chain yourself down, the other persona would not break free. It's like, come on, almost every other persona, you and Ed, yeah, both intelligent. I think even Ed would try to break out of that lock even then. So it's like, come on, man. Come on. But can't wait to see, like, what is that persona up to for this season? I cannot wait. I think I pretty much covered all the points in all character subplots with this episode. But hey, if, if I forget anything, as always, there's a comment section. Let me know. Like or dislike the video. Comment what you guys thought of the episode. Hey, if you're new, please subscribe. I am Fandom D. Saint, and I am signing off.